saw you up there. God, dirty red nose, we Judas, yeah. Don't you call me a Judas, don't you call me that. Who, who, who? I don't know what you want, Judas, man. You thank me for this way of life. <laughs> hey, that's a nasty man of way now. Hey, tell me, son. What would you like Santa to bring you for your Christmas? Stephanie Beecham. <laughs> You're a bit old for her. Uh, would Brit Eklund do instead? In my years as a sheriff, I've dealt with many despicable offences, but few more so than yours, Nesbitt. Oh, cheers, brother. <laughs> <laughs> Belief in Santa Claus is one of the basic pillars on which our society is founded. It's right up there with God, a good malt whiskey, and the use of coincidence in television comedy. <laughs> and to reveal a child that Santa does not exist is, in my book, worse than murder. For assaulting store personnel and causing a disturbance, we'll go to prison for 21 days. 21 days, eh? Does that mean I'll miss Christmas? No. I mean, sure of that. <laughs> you vicious swine, you! <laughs> well, I will tell you this, boss. You've got trouble now, there you are. Because the prison has yet to be built that can hold Rav G. Nesbitt. Dirty protest, is it, brother? Dirty protest! I christen! But my living room's man killing an awful few cells in it. It's nothing new to me. It's nothing new to me. Take him away, officer. And I'll tell you something else. I'll tell you something else. Malt whiskey, is it? Malt whiskey. Well, how comes your carry it with half a dozen Carly specials and a bottle of Fine Fair's finest rock at? <laughs> hey, hey, you're all the same. You're all the same, so you are. Look at these conditions. Look at these conditions. Shut it. You're not even in the jail yet. Ah, I'm just playing. <laughs> Life. I wash my hands of it. It all seems that unfair, so it does. The big magistrates are there with their skiing holidays and their burberries. And I'm stuck down here with my mutton pies and my heart disease. <laughs> what does Dad's letter say? Dear Mary, hope you are okay. I am okay. <laughs> Do not worry. On no account, worry. P.S. I am on hunger strike. Hunger <laughs> strike? Oh, no. Would you look at the chips in there? <laughs> hey, how are you managing with your hunger strike, eh? Well, if I'm perfectly honest with you, I'm not very happy about it at all. I mean, because I've been on it four days now. Look, see that? I haven't lost a thing. No, <laughs> it went your metabolism adjusts. Look at mine, eh? Oh, hey, had any hallucinations yet? Hallucinations? Oh, yes. Well known side effect. Be bonus. No? Blackouts are good too. But they get a bit samey. Oh, yes. It's a rich and varied life, stabbing yourself to death. <laughs> I see, I see. I say, life is what you make it. So is death. I love it all. They say the last phase of a hunger strike is when you lapse into a coma. I'm really looking bothered to that. I'm very changed. <laughs> they say it could happen to me quite soon. Coma, eh? What is a coma, by the way? <laughs> That's a bloody disgrace, so is. Well, he did no sympathy for me. Nesbitt brought up on himself, and if he asked me, he's not going to argue. Ah, but that's what I like about Rab. See, I'm a wee tube, so he gave me something to look up to. Well, you can say what you like, boys, but I know who I blame for all this. Evening, boys. <laughs> hey, can I buy you so I drink? No, no, no. I can afford it now that I am a festive field worker. Beat it, Claus. We're fussy who we spew with. <laughs> yeah, James, 
See that shitter? Huh? It's a snow on it. No. Well, that should be because it's cold enough. <laughs> hey, hey, boys, is it, is it me or is there a funny wang of reindeer dung about here? <laughs> Sorry, no, no, I get it, I get it. Eh? Just because I've tried to better myself. Oh, come on. See, I've known Rab since we were wee boys. <laughs> Rab knows I'm slicker. He prefers me to be slicker. <laughs> <laughs> That's what makes me lovable. Oh, I and we'll believe that, won't we, boys? Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> I'm going up to Napoleon's for a splitzer. <laughs> there you go, Dougie. Your first Christmas miracle. What's that? A man with no backbone walking upright. 